Well, hello, and we've been working on the Studebaker Champ, and uh, everything's looking pretty good. I'm gonna bring you over here and kind of give you a little update. Well, here's the seat. I went on a little excursion about 75 miles away, picked it up, and uh, bought it from a guy off a of marketplace. It uh, had a brand new seat cover on it, and it originally came out of a 70 Chevy Nova that he was turning into a drag car. It had a brand new seat cover, so you can't beat that. It's gonna look good in the Studebaker. Well, I've installed my new alternator, and uh, I took that 12 volt generator off, which it puts out, say, between 30 and 40 amps. This is a 105 amp alternator, so it should be able to supply any and all of the uh, power to keep the battery up. I've done uh, complete ignition points, condenser, uh, coil, done the works. So anyway, things are looking pretty good there. So at the back, you'll see that little oil pressure switch that has three wires coming out of it. And that's gonna be for my electric fuel pump. And uh, that way, when you hit the key, you'll have uh, ignition supplying the voltage to run the fuel pump. And then after the engine gets oil pressure, it uh, will go ahead and take over and run the fuel pump. Well, here's the fuel tank that I dropped out from under the old Studebaker. And uh, it's kind of in sad shape. It, it's full of a lot of old dried up fuel. Uh, it has a rust hole at one end and it has uh, another leak on the other. And so I did some looking on the internet and believe it or not, a Mazda pickup, about a 93 year model, extended cab tank is just lacks one gallon being the same size tank. So anyway, who would have figured that? I have one of those fuel tanks, uh, the little Mazda tank, I ordered it. So it'll be here uh, later this month. Okay, well, we're gonna see if we can get her going. Oh, one little kick. Two little kicks. Give it a pump. It's running and sounds really pretty good. I'm really pretty pleased. This thing, it came out of a wrecking yard. I'm not sure how long it's been sitting there, but evidently it's had some engine work or some care at some time or another. Looks pretty good. You know, no black smoke, no white smoke. This thing's looking pretty good too. It does have a radiator leak. I would like to keep this brass radiator if I could, but if I need to, I would swap it out for an aluminum. But anyway, that's the only thing that I've seen so far. But anyway, guys, I tell you what, I think we're making some progress. That old engine sounds pretty good. Uh, I called and my uh, floor pans are supposed to ship the end of next week, so won't be much longer and we'll be doing some floorboard repair. So anyway, I appreciate y'all coming by the shop. This is Rusty Glove Box and I'm out of here.